Other similar time-space anomalies over the triangle had been reported by military pilots in the 1950s and 60s, including Air Force pilot Frank Hopkins, an advisor to the 106th Air Transport Group. In the summer of 1968, he wrote to Argosy magazine with a story of a time-space continuum shift while flying a C-97 Stratofreighter over the Dragon's Triangle. In the spring of 1966, I was a basic navigator aboard an Air Guard C-97 flying from Kwajalein Island to Guam. We looked forward to a pleasant night flight of about six to six and a half hours. Hopkins says that, as per protocol, he plots his position hourly using star navigation. But during the third hour of the flight, something inexplicable occurs. I shot a second celestial fix. Weather was excellent. Only problem was, and I almost fell out of the airplane when I put this on the chart, this last fix was almost 340 nautical miles down intended course. I rechecked and rechecked. A plugging old C-97 covered 340 nautical miles in one hour of time for no apparent reason. Later, upon landing on Guam, Hopkins reports to his duty officer that his airplane jumped many hundreds of miles ahead of course but no report is filed. Hopkins says that he remains convinced, however, that this area is indeed home to peculiar forces that pose great danger to airplanes and ships. Due to the confluence of these events, experts continue to feel other forces might possibly be at work deep below the triangle.